Hello everybody. After seeing these things all over the internet for years, I finally went and bought a few. Want to see like how good they are. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. <laughs> we got Menu 22, the beef goulash. It's beef with brown rice, spinach, carrots, tomatoes, and smoked paprika. Apparently. Also recommended, tested, and approved by war fighters. Alright. Yeah, I cut this thing open in advance, so let's just get right into it. We got our certified army spoon here. We got milk chocolate cocoa beverage. The uh, famous flameless ration heater. And yep, that's how you use it. Mm, gotta find a rock or something. Accessories. <laughs> you get a moist towelette. Some salt. Probably not going to need it for this one. Raspberry Type 3. Wonder what happened to Raspberry Type 1 and 2. TP for your bunghole. And finally, the Army Gum. I've heard there's a laxative in here, but I'm not 100% sure about that. We got some chunky peanut butter and some strawberry jam. Also, the chunky peanut butter thanks you for your service three times. Presumably to make up for the fact that the jam is ungrateful. Piece of bread. Presumably for the peanut butter and jelly. Here's our little cardboard sleeve for cooking it in with the ingredients and whatnot. Not quite as crazy as I was expecting. Of course, you got a couple of preservatives and fillers in there, but yeah, could be much worse. There's our main course. Some zapple sauce. Enhanced with maltodextrin for increased performance, apparently. Yeah, apart from that, not too many ingredients. And finally, not just sugar cookies, but patriotic sugar cookies. Because God only knows what would happen if you served your soldiers an unpatriotic sugar cookie. Yeah, this stuff seems like good to start with, so uh, yeah, let's do that first. Right, turns out that was much easier to extract from the packet with both hands, so I had to put the camera down for a little bit. Anyways, yep, let's give it a try. Yep, tastes alright, just like any prepackaged applesauce you buy in the store. Alright, so I took the bread out of the package here, it looks uh, alright. It's like halfway between an ordinary slice of white bread and like a pita bread or something. Try a little piece off of the corner here before I disturb it with the peanut butter and jelly. Yep, again, it's all right. A little sweet. And yeah, not too bad. Now on one hand, I've never been the biggest fan of chunky peanut butter, but on the other hand, I figure like if you're gonna be off fighting a war, having chunks in the peanut butter is probably gonna be the least of your problems. So, yep, I'm gonna try a bit of this on its own. I don't know if you've ever had those prepackaged, like, Austin peanut butter crackers, but this tastes exactly like the peanut butter from the center of one of those. Next up, let's try the jam. Yeah, the closest frame of reference I can think of for that is, um... If you've ever been to a restaurant where they have those little prepackaged things of jelly, when I was a kid I used to eat them while I was waiting for the food to come, but yep, that's basically what this tastes like, and it has basically the same consistency too. Right, Gone made myself a little PB and J here. As you can see, the jelly looks not particularly strawberry like, but yep, that tends to be the case for a lot of these cheap jellies. And the peanut butter looks alright, but also, um,. Yeah, remarkably non-chunky. I saw maybe one chunk of peanut in there. Yep, yeah, there it is. And yeah, apart from that, it just looks like any other smooth peanut butter. 
Yep, turns out this stuff doesn't fold very well. I should have seen that coming. Anyways, let's give this a try. Yep, not the greatest pb and I've ever had by any means, but also there's nothing, like, outwardly offensive about it. Yep, I think I'm gonna eat the rest of this. And yep, I have now eaten the rest of that. Not bad. Just as I was about to take a bite out of this heating element, I saw this little symbol here. So yep, it's a good thing that was there, otherwise, yeah, totally would have tried to eat this thing. There we go, we've got the meal pouch in there with the heating element. Now I just gotta find a rock or something. There we go, I believe this fits the description. It is in fact a rock or something. Just added the water and stuff. For a second it seemed like it wasn't doing anything, but yep, there's clearly some form of chemical reaction going on in there. I uh, can't feel any heat on the exterior yet. Oh, I take it back. Touching the bag directly. Yep, this thing is heating up. And yep, while that's heating up, I'm gonna try some of this milk chocolate cocoa beverage, because that peanut butter sandwich has sucked all the moisture right out of me. Yep, it, so far it both looks and smells like pretty much any chocolate milk powder you'd buy in the store, be it Nesquik or Ovaltine or whatever the fuck. It says shake to mix, so let's do that. Camera can't see down there too good, but it looks like your ordinary chocolate milk. And it tastes like it too, just a little more watery. Maybe I should have added less water. No, oh, well, still tastes alright. This ought to be done by now. Ooh. Yep. Definitely hot to the touch on the exterior. This, uh... Yep. Yeah. If that's not done by now, I'll be very surprised. And there we are. Doesn't look too great visually, but then again, I don't think I've ever seen a goulash that does. It's all in the taste that matters, right? So, yeah, let's see how it is. Yep, yeah, that is surprisingly alright. And it's a good thing, too, because this is the main nutritional component. Cannot be out there fighting a war off just PBJs and applesauce. Yeah, decent sized chunks of meat, decently seasoned, texture isn't too offensive. Yep, I could eat this. Yep, again, not bad. Alright, time to finally see what's so patriotic about these sugar cookies. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's the imagery you want to be going for, having all your American icons come all smashed up already. <laughs> there we go, there's part of Uncle Sam's hat. Mmm, this looks tasty. Oh, no, wait. Can't eat it. Says not to. Here we go. Let's eat this Liberty Bell since it seems to have survived. Hmm. Yep, it's an alright cookie. In fact, they even go so far as to call it pretty good cookie. Yep, they may have come already smashed up, but they taste good. But yeah, again, I'm just not sure if this is the imagery that you want to be giving your soldiers, like the cracked American flag already, because these, these MREs are going to get banged around, so there's pretty much no way these are going to come all intact. I don't know. Yeah, I get what they were going for, but it uh, probably could have been a little bit better executed. <laughs> it tastes good, though. That's pretty much all that matters. Alright, last thing we've got to try is this Raspberry Type 3 beverage powder. It's said to mix with 20 ounces of water, but I could only fit about 14 into this glass, so it might be a little strong. Also, I rinsed this spoon when I went in to get it, so no need to worry about me getting goulash in here. All right, down the hatch. Yep, tastes like raspberry Kool-Aid, basically. Amazingly, still a little bit watery, even though I only put in about three quarters of the recommended amount of water. So yeah, maybe don't follow the directions on this one exactly. You want to get more of that raspberry flavor. Although again, it's not 
too overtly raspberry-y. It's got that sort of artificial fruit flavor thing about it. Yeah. Mm, it's all right, though. So, yeah, overall thoughts on the Menu 22 Beef Goulash MRE. Yep, I would eat that again, especially considering that I only paid about 8 bucks for it, considering all the food items you get, and also two drinks. Yeah, I'd call that a pretty good deal, especially considering that they were all edible, and in some cases actually pretty good. So yeah, it's a good thing. I'm glad they're not serving the soldiers total garbage over there. And yep, if you can snag one of these for a decent price, yeah, I'd say maybe worth it if you're going for a camping trip or something. Hang on a minute, what's this? Oh, shit. Also just realized I never actually tried the gum, so yeah, let's give that a go. Yep. Yeah. It's gum. It's minty and stuff. Yep. Remarkably unremarkable. Yeah, the gum was all right. Yeah, I didn't end up actually using these. Though this, I may get an opportunity to try out very soon. So yeah, thanks for watching my video. Bye. Update. The towelette was moist. Pretty much worked exactly as advertised.